I wanted to talk today a little bit about, you know, some, you know, balance. You know, I feel like as of late, I've been kind of, you know, coming on here and talking about how much it sucks to not get women, how women don't like me and all that. But, you know, I need to keep it a buck as well. You know, I, you know, I don't really care to. I don't really care if dudes say this is blue pill. I don't really care if dudes say that I'm coping. You know, I don't really care to cater towards, you know, towards incels, man. I straight up, you know, I never once in my in my life said I was a true cell. I never said I was uh, none of that, man. You know, I yeah, I use black pill and shit here and there. But, you know, I ain't no incel, man. I ain't no fucking, you know, kissless virgin or nothing like that. And... You know, I just wanted to bring a little bit of level-headed thinking to this shit. Like, you know, how many of us are really 100% looks maxed? Like, how many of us are... Let's be real. How many of us are even deserving of women? I know it sounds, you know, red pill, but... Some of us, let's be real, man. Some of us don't even deserve to have a woman by our side. You know, straight up. I, I I probably don't deserve to have a woman by my side. You know, I'm fat. I ain't making the most money. You know, I ain't really looking after my looks. I don't I don't invest in my looks like I know I should. I don't I don't keep a haircut every two weeks. I don't I don't do none of that shit. You know, I kinda just you know, kinda gallivant around the freaking world without really taking too much interest in my in my appearance you know and you know let's be real man looks your looks the way you the way you look that's your personality you know and you know there's nothing we could really do to change our facial structure there's nothing we could really do to change our height you know our frame or none of that but you know we could work with what we got and we could look smacks what we have and take advantage and emphasize and glamorize what we have you know you know i don't feel like a lot of dudes in this community or in this side of youtube or or any of that i don't feel like many dudes are 100 percent looks max i don't think a lot of dudes in this side of youtube are 100 percent where they should be as a man you know in all aspects you know mental physical spiritual appearance wise financial you know i don't think i think it's probably like five percent of dudes who watch this type of content are a hundred percent looks maxed and where they should be as a man you know um you know straight up like our appearance is our personality if you put out an image of a man that doesn't care about himself you know straight up like how's a woman gonna take that serious i'm talking to myself you know i really you know, straight up, like, yeah, sometimes I do be in my feelings, like, 90% of the times I'm in my feelings, upset that I don't get women, but, you know, I had to look at myself in the mirror today, and I had to accept that I'm not 100% looks maxed, I'm not where I should be as a man, like, why would a woman choose me, you know, I saw a post on Instagram, some dude was like, it was a, it was like a short or whatever, it said, like, think, close your eyes and think that you had a daughter, would you be happy if your daughter brought home you? And low key, I was like, I'd be pissed off if my if my daughter brought home a nigga that looked like me, or even a motherfucker who was like me. Like, pockets ain't where they should, you know. Looks are, are, are shitty, you know. I don't think, I don't think I'd, I, I where I am, I deserve a woman, you know. And I know, I know a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, even if you deserve that, you're not getting it, you know. You know who knows, man? Who knows? Some of you guys act like you know everything. Some of you guys act like you're so enlightened, but let's be real, y'all y'all probably ain't where you should be. You know. And I ain't even just talking about your bread. I ain't even talking about your looks. Like, how many of you guys are even actively putting yourselves out there, bro? You know, like how how do you expect to sell a product you when you don't put that product out there? You know, like, I I just be thinking a lot to the times I've had any type of success. And 
the only reason I've had any type of success is because is I put myself out there. Even on dating apps, like, even if you want to have success on dating apps, you got to put yourself out there. You got to make your account. You got to upload the pictures. You got to type a bio. Like, how many of us are truly out here doing what we should do, you know, to, to get the results we want? You know, straight up. I don't think I don't think a lot of us are doing that. I think a lot of us are just upset. We're, we're focused on not how we don't get pussy. You know, and, and I think a lot of us have given up any attempts to improve ourselves. When, you know, when that's what we should be doing. You know, like I said, your looks or your personality. And if you are fat, sloppy, you don't take care of yourself kind of like me. Well, your personality is going to be that you're that you're fat and sloppy like me. And you're, no woman's going to want to fuck you. You know, I, you know, this is. You know, I know around here we we're, we're very defeated. You know, we give we've given up. You know, I've given up. But I I I think that there are men out there who it's a hundred percent over for. You know, there are men out there who who there's nothing they could do that's gonna change their situation. You know, I I could possibly be in that mix. But I want to get this out there for who, for whoever's listening. Like, maybe you you're not in that mix. You know, I I believe that at least a good eighty percent of whoever's listening to this man, you could do something to change your fucking life, man. I'm not gonna say you're ever gonna be a slayer. I'm not saying you're ever gonna be a, a womanizer and have them falling left and right. But you know, like, take care of yourself. You know. Like, fucking, you know, go to the gym. I know it sounds red pill and shit, but, you know, coming from a fat nigga, like, bro, there ain't, you ain't gonna get no love as a fat nigga. No woman, no man, no nothing likes fat people. You know, I ain't got no reason to be complaining being this fat. You know, straight up. Like, the fact that I haven't even gotten something thrown at me, being this fat, like, I should consider that a win. Like, I feel like most of us, like, I've seen, I'm not going to lie, man. You know, I'm not trying to be offensive and I'm not going to say any names, but I've come across channels of dudes who post their face, you know, and these motherfuckers, you know, they look rough. They got, they don't, it, it looks like I could straight up tell they don't put any effort into their hygiene, into their looks, into their, into their grooming, into their fashion you know, most of us, let's be real, we're, we're a bunch of neck beards. We don't shave. We don't get haircuts. You know, we walk around with a haircut that hasn't been cut in three or four months. We walk around in goofy, worn out clothes. We walk around faded ass clothes, you know, clothes that's colored blue now, but it was black originally, but it's just so old and used as blue now. You know, I used to clown niggas for that shit growing up in high school. There was this one dude that would wear a bunch, a bunch of faded clothes. I called that fool fog, you know, because that fool just looked like he had fog over him because his clothes were so faded, you know. And I'm not, I'm not saying clothes is gonna, it's gonna get you a chick. Nah, man, like no, like ain't no clothes, ain't ain't no haircut gonna get you no chick. It's about just, it's about you though, you know, like, like let's be real, we're not. A lot of us go on the path that we're headed. Like, we ain't gonna succeed in anything. You know, we're on our way to nowhere fast. You know, if you're young, if you're still, even if you're older, man, like, take care of yourself, man. Like, if you're losing hair, like, like me, you know, I, I, you know I'm not gonna lie, I've been losing hair. I have, I have, you know, male pattern baldness. I've had to take, I have, I have to take finasteride. You know, I've had to experiment with new shampoos to try to get my hair to look somewhat normal and and you know how many dudes out there have just given up you know no one likes bald people no like if you if you have if you're like battling hair loss and shit you got to be on these meds you have to be you have to be trying to get your hair back bro cuz we live in a world where you know hair is life man that's why I'm I'm like trying to get my hair back cuz I'm aware that if I lose this hair, it's done. Like, like especially a lot of us that come from Gen Z and shit. Like, Gen Z women love hair. 
Like, those are the women we're going to be growing up with. Like, those women love men with hair. So, if you ever even want to get your dick wet once, you got to have some hair on your head. You know, you... I feel like a lot of us just ain't putting any effort into our looks whatsoever. You know, like I'm not, I'm gonna be the first one to say me. I haven't been paying attention to myself. I've let myself go, you know, and I just, I'm just putting this out there for whoever, whoever needs to hear it. Like looks max, dude, get on your shit. Like try to fucking make yourself somewhat you know attractive to women i know some of you guys are just defeated as hell you guys are true cells you guys believe all this shit that you guys are true cells and that there's no hope for you like fucking fight man try to do something man like what's the point of just even listening to me complain if you're not gonna do shit you know like what's the point of what's the point of of motherfuckers listening to all this shit like you're just torturing yourself if you're not really out here improving in any way shape or form you know why beat yourself up if you're just not gonna pay attention you know like like good things don't come to those who don't do shit like I like I know homies man I, I have not homies but I know dudes in my real life and they have you know, bad genetics, man. Bad hands were dealt to them. And I just see them and I admire them because their their sheer will, their sheer desire to succeed. It's like it's like their desire to succeed is just outweighing the genetic hands hands they were dealt. You know, and I know that's not for everybody. I know some of you guys are really ugly. You know, I know some of you guys look like a nutsack. You know, I'm aware. Some some of you motherfuckers, you got no hope. But for those 8 out of 10 motherfuckers out there who do have hope, those 8 of you out of 10, try, man. Try, like, I feel like even the most losers try. You know, like, I, like whenever I listen to the Elliot Manifesto, that fool was always trying. Like, I'll give it to that motherfucking autistic motherfucker. That motherfucker was trying. He would work out. He would put himself out there. Like, a lot of us, man, we haven't left our house. We haven't gone to no outings in, in years. You know, that fool, Elliot, that fool would go to parties and shit. That fool would put himself out there. And it's like, how the fuck is this fucking dude mocking us? You know? It's like... Like, we gotta try, dude. Like, I don't even want to sound blue pill or red pill or nothing. I'm just, like, straight up. This is from the heart, man. Like... Like, like, I don't want to see a lot of you guys take your lives, man. Or hear that you guys took your lives. Like, try. Like, I know, I know, I get it. The, the dating market, I get all that shit. I get Chad, I get Tyrone. You know, but this world's big, bro. This world's big. Like, like don't... Like, if you're not 100% looks maxed, I don't want to hear you, bitch. You know, like, myself, I, I ain't even got the right to be bitching, bro. I'm fat. The last time I got a haircut was like a month ago. My clothes are not fresh. I don't put any effort into my style. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't do anything out of this world. I'm just, I, I like put the least effort possible to just, to just get through the day. You know, like how am I ever gonna, how, how the fuck's a pretty bitch even gonna be attracted to me when I'm just like a, I'm just like a, like a, like I'm satisfied. You know, a lot of us out here, let's be real, man. We ain't got no motion going on. Yeah, we possibly got a little shitty job. But we ain't got nothing going for ourselves. We ain't got no goals. We ain't got no ambitions. We ain't, we ain't pushing towards anything. Like, like, I, like, I'm not saying having a goal is going to get you a bitch. But it's like, how? what, what, you even, what, what do we even got to talk to bitches about? Like, what, what, what topics do we even have? A lot of us that are just like, we're just going from work home, like, like, just just zombies like what do we even got to talk to a bitch about we ain't even got nothing interesting like a lot of us we're not even interesting straight up we don't do shit we ain't, we ain't got no type of adventure adventurous spirit to us you know a lot of us like we're old people like a, a, lot, a lot of us we claim to be introverts and shit and we claim to be quiet like bro like how how the fuck like we're not putting out we're not even making any effort 
Like if you're an introvert like me, like we're like you're not putting in any effort being an introvert. Like a lot of dudes, they say cold approach is dead and and all that. But it's like the reason a lot of us dudes say cold approach is dead. Let's be real. It's to cope with the fact that we're not cold approaching so we can feel good about ourselves. Like, oh, cold approach is dead. No need to do it. It's dead, right? It's dead. So why even go go up and cold approach? uh, cold, Cold approach. The reason we're saying that, let's be real, is to cope. It's to feel good about ourselves not doing it. When we see a beautiful woman out in the street, what do we say? Cold approach is dead. No point in going up to her. We say that to feel good about not going up to her. But then like that one rare time we do cold approach. And even if we do get rejected, we feel at peace. Because it's like, at least I went up and I tried. You know. And I, like I said, I'm, you guys know damn well I'm a realist. I keep it real. But I'm going to keep it real too. Like a lot of us, myself included, we can't be bitching, man. We're ugly. Like we're, we're ugly. We have ourselves in an ugly situation. We're not maxed out ugly niggas. We're, we're like level one ugly niggas. We're, we're not even putting in an effort. You know, like, like some of like, we're, like, let's be real. Like a lot of us ain't even chasing the bag like that. You know, a lot of us, we're just content with the job. We're just content with clocking in at the warehouse, coming home, repeat. Like no woman in today's world where they got all this access to all these dudes. Like that's nothing to them, bro. Like women have that. Women have a job. Like how are we going to get bitches being not the best looking guys? not Lux Max, not even attempting to fashion Max, not even attempting to put ourselves out there, and all we got's a little job. Like, it's over. If that's just the path we take forever. You know, like, 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 it's December. You know, everybody's out ice skating, everybody's out on vacation, everybody's out doing something, and like, look at us, we're not even doing shit, we ain't got no, we ain't got nothing, we ain't got no motion, we ain't got no adventurous spirit, we're lame as fuck, you know, like, straight up, like, sometimes, like, I'll see dudes that are, that aren't even as good looking as, as, as some dudes on here, but they got a bitch, they're probably adventurous, they're probably cool, they're probably, they're probably liked, a lot of us, let's be real, a lot of us ain't even likable, like, straight up, some, 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 like, we fight amongst each other all the time here. Like, that must mean we're not likable people. You know, like, I, like, some, some, some niggas on here, like, they ain't got no charisma. No, no talk game. Just lame. Just dweller niggas, basement dweller niggas, you know? And I'm in that list, bro. I'm in that list of dudes that ain't got nothing going for themselves. No motion, no, no entertainment. There's no... There's nothing entertaining about us. We're just lame. You know, like straight up, I know damn well if I had, if I was looks maxed, I probably wouldn't even be bitching this much. I'd probably have had at least one girlfriend in my life. You know, and it's like a lot of us, like we get opportunities, like straight up. Some of you guys probably get opportunities. I'd be seeing some of you guys in the comments talking to me about uh, this popped up, this popped up. But let's be real, a lot of us, we ain't seizing the moment. And the reason we're not seizing the moment, the reason a lot of us are mental cells is because we know we're not supposed to, we're not where we're supposed to be. You know, like, how could we even ask a girl like, hey, you want to come over to my place? When a lot of us, let's be real, we're staying with our moms, we're staying with our pops, we're, we're couching, we're couch surfing on our brother's couch, we're, we're bumming a, we're bumming a few bed sheets off our sister, like a lot of us, we ain't got shit going on for ourselves, and, and yet we complain, yet we want these bad bitches, we want these Stacys to be up in our shit when, you know, we ain't even got an air mattress, you know? A lot of us, like, you know, we're, we're bums. We're losers. You know, I'm going to be the first to admit there's a lot of losers around here. You know, just dudes who ain't thriving. Dudes who ain't, you know, like, like no woman's going to be attracted to a, a, a medium looks looking or ugly guy if he's sad. You know, like us, we're not the best looking guys and we're sad and we're depressed. You know, like there's no hope in that situation. You know, we should be, we should like, like, let's look smacks a hundred percent and then we can complain. You know, we're straight up. We got to just shut up. If we're just going to stay the same, we got to shut up. You know, like, 
a lot like these years are just ticking by and a lot of us are still in the same situation we're not looks maxing we're not improving you know like if you're fat like me like like straight up you never know what's underneath that fat you know some of us like if we just lost the weight we could probably even get a girlfriend bro like i like if you're 100 percent looks max right now and you're not getting shit you're doomed it's over just give up go monk go pick up a bible go become a fucking pastor at a church get the dono money from the church niggas you know like we gotta start doing something with our shit bro like, like, if you know it's 100% over for you, start up a church. Like, try to make some money. Try to make some motion with your shit. You know, monetize your, your, your lameness. You know, but a lot of us, we just be, like, we've tapped out, man. And I, and I ain't, like, saying this from a high horse. I'm saying it from down here with you guys. Like, we gotta look smacks. We gotta do something with our shit. Like, I've just been thinking about all these opportunities I've let go because I'm a coward, because I'm a bitch. And the reason I'm a coward and I'm a bitch is because I know I'm not where I'm supposed to be as a man. Like, I've had moments where women, you know, they're down to give me an opportunity. But I run away from the opportunity because I ain't where I'm supposed to be. You know, I got fat. I got fat covering my dick. You know, all you fat niggas know you lose inches when you got when you're fat, bro. All you fat niggas that are just like as fat as me, you guys damn know, damn well know you lose inches down there when you when you fat. You know, we ain't got that bone pressed fucking shit. We got a fucking fupa. You know, we're all, all the broke niggas. Like, how the fuck you even gonna take a girl out somewhere when you a broke nigga? And I know some of you, I know, I'll even say it myself, like, if it was a Tyrone and he was broke, she'd be with him, but like let's just accept we're not Tyrone you know like also that that's another thing it's just a lot of us we watch other niggas dicks you know like whenever we talk about Tyrone whenever we talk about Chad you know what we're doing we're watching another man's ball sack we're watching another man's you know body you know I, I like you know we gotta look smacks bro if you're fat, you know, you got to lose the weight. If you ain't got no swag, you know, get out there. Try to buy you some clothes, man. If you ain't got no money for clothes, try to get a job. You know, and if, you, if you're if you 100% looks maxed and it's just not changing, you know, maybe you need to change your approach. You know, like, like I've, I've noticed that, man. I feel like a lot of men from, from my generation... Like I've seen I've seen dudes who I know shouldn't be struggling struggling, bro. But that's because I know that they're probably mental cells. You know, like us mental cells, we need to we need to like like we need to pay coaches and shit to try to teach us how to not be so fucking awkward. You know? Like there are a thing or two we could probably learn off a guy. Like I know sometimes we bash a lot of these red pill niggas, but sometimes man, you got to listen to a little bit of that red pill shit, bro. You know, like, this black pill shit could get... Like, it's consuming sometimes, bro. It's like... It's like there's no hope when you're in the black pill. You know? And it could just get a little bit frustrating sometimes. So, you know, I kind of wanted to bring this a little bit more of a positive message. I know it's not going to get nowhere near as many likes. I know I'm going to have a lot of dudes in the comments saying I'm coping. But, like, for anybody who's listening, who, who still wants to live, man. Who still wants a chance at life. Like, you got to look smacks. You got to get some money in your pocket, bro. Like, like if you're a guy and your 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 look your natural genetic looks are not the best and you're broke, like there is nothing we could do to fix that. There's nothing we could do to try to medi- mediate your situation. Like there like if you're broke and you can't even take a girl out for a fucking $5 coffee, like it's over if you're ugly as fuck if you're if your looks just aren't if your genetic looks your genetic facial features aren't attractive you can't afford to be broke like a lot of us man you know we ain't got no motion just nine to five grunts no no business ventures no anything outside of just clocking in you know like 
like just look max, you know, like let's just not complain till we look max, bro. I know, I know this, I know this is like different and shit, but I just for, for all like some of you guys got chances, man. Some of you guys got hope. There's still possibilities for some of y'all, and, and I feel like we're just not we're just not taking advantage of that shit, you know. But whatever.